Hello and welcome to JustComparecars.com. My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2018 68 plate Nissan Navara. It's a 2.3 DCI, 190 brake horsepower Tecna. It's a manual gearbox with 95,000 miles and importantly it's got the full Nissan service history. Okay so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be very popular mainly because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home but as if you were here today with me in person as i go around the vehicle with you we'll look at all the panels individually looking for any marks or scratches or dints we'll have a look at the wheels and the tires looking at the tread depths we'll have a look in the back of the vehicle and then we'll have a look inside looking at the seats the functionality basically everything that you would look at if you were here in person i'll even tell you what it smells like inside when we've done that we'll pop the bonnet have a look at the engine and finally, we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine, the chassis, and of course, the spare wheel. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you'd like to buy it, a small deposit will secure it, and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere that you need it to be. If you're looking to finance a vehicle, we will ask you for a deposit to cover the VAT. Obviously, it's a VAT applicable vehicle. In some circumstances, we can get around that, but that will depend on you. Right, uh, it's also worth mentioning that once you've watched the video, if you think I've missed something, or if you'd like to see something in a bit more detail, just ask, there's nothing to hide. Um, we can show you absolutely anything. Right, we'll start with the bonnet and then we'll work our way around from there. Um, it is a bit damp here today, uh, and I'm working between that, but um, hopefully you can see past that. Um, the bonnet is in lovely condition. Um, there's no nasty marks or dents. Everything looks really nice and clean. Um, being really critical, um, it's got stone chips, um, but it's done 90 odd thousand miles. It's going to have a couple of little bits on it, but there's nothing serious. I'll tell you that for nothing. Um, so yeah, probably the worst is those, as you can see, tiny. Driver's side headlight and front bumper working our way around. Again, there's no detrimental marks, just the occasional stone chip, but nothing serious. Same for the passenger side headlight as well. Passenger side front wing is in nice clean condition. There's no nasty marks or dents. Everything looks really nice and clean. There are a couple of very small stone chips, but nothing serious at all. That's probably the worst of it. So uh, passenger side front wheel and tire, the wheel's in good condition. It's a continental tire. Um, I would guess there's approximately seven or eight millimeters of tread. The windscreen appears to be free from stone chips or cracks. Um, have a good look when we have a look inside as well. Let's go over the pillars first. And as you can see, there's no nasty marks or dents. Everything looks nice and clean. And that's the same on the roof as well. In nice clean condition. Passenger mirror backs in nice clean condition as well. There's no damage and the mirror's intact. So I always like to have a look at this view before I go down the passenger side. You can see there's no misalignment, all the gaps look spot on. There's nothing that's out of place. <coughs> right, so down the passenger side, and hopefully you can see from that, there's no nasty marks or dents, nothing that sticks out of sight, nothing out of place, everything looks nice and clean. Side steps in good condition as well. There is a little mark on that bit there, but it's nothing serious. Onto the rear quarter. And as you can see, it's in nice clean condition and it's free from any nasty marks or dints. Passenger side rear wheel and tire, wheels in good condition. Being picky, the badge is missing in the middle, uh, but other than that, nothing else. Matching tire, Continental. Matching tread depths, I'd say. Nice and clean under there as well. Chassis looks in great condition. Obviously, it's got a canopy. Just bear me a second. Let me move this camera across a little bit. Uh, yeah, so the canopy looks into being good condition as well. It's in nice, clean condition. Not sure what make it is, but it's got the side opening. Do they open? They do. 
Um, they're not cheap. Very expensive canopy when it was new. I can't see who makes it. It kind of looks like a truckman. There's no obvious marks on it. Anyway, passenger side tail lights in nice clean condition. It's free from damage. In Christmas, like it's got some glue or something on it, but nothing else. There's no damage on it as such. Um, right, so let's look at the tailgate. And again, it's in nice, clean condition. There is a couple of little tiny marks, but it's nothing serious at all. Probably the worst of it, if you can see that. Rear bumper's in nice, clean condition. There's a couple of little dints. Nothing serious. Obviously, these have got 360 degree parking, uh, parking cameras and also the sensors as well. It's got a tow bar and it's got the earlier style electrics. <coughs> and the pneumatics on the canopy window are in good condition, holding it up no problem. Oh, it's an aero class look. It's an aero class canopy. They are very expensive now. In the back, it's nice and clean. It's obviously been used for a job. I don't know what though. Uh, let's say it looks it looks in good condition. Smart. A couple of little marks on top, but it's just still in good condition. Driver's side tail light is in nice clean condition. It's free from any damage. Onto the rear quarter. And again, it's in nice clean condition. There's no damage on it at all that I can see. Being critical, there's a couple of little marks, but then is that just an oily fingerprint? I don't know. Nothing serious anyway, if it is. Drive side rear wheel and tire, wheels in good condition. Um, Continental tire matching again, matching tread depth. And again, everything looks nice and clean under there. <coughs> All right, let's go down the driver's side. Start there again. There's no damage. And again, everything's nice and clean up there. So again, no misalignment. Nothing looks out of place. Everything looks spot on. So let's go down the driver's side. There is a dent there. You see that? I think it's probably the only one I've seen on it, really. It's in nice, clean condition. Side steps in good condition as well. Make sure I've not missed anything. No, it looks in good condition. Remember back in good condition as well, as is the mirror. And then driver's side front wing. And again, it's in nice clean condition. Driver's side front wheel and tyre, wheels in good condition. Matching Continental tyre, matching tread depth. So it's got a full set of Continentals all around. They've got about six or seven millimetres to tread. So good. Right, so onto the interior. I'm sure you know this, but so worth mentioning it in case you don't. Little black button on there. As long as you've got your key in your pocket, in your wallet, in your bag, your purse, whatever, uh, it will open and lock, and it will also start as well, so you don't have to mess about with your keys. Uh, driver's door card is in nice clean condition, there's no damage. You've got your electric windows on there, your window lock, your door lock, electric folding mirrors, and then your mirror control. <coughs> driver's seat, bolster's really nice and firm, material's nice and clean, being critical, there's a couple of little dots and stuff on it, I don't know what that... I think it's just little bits of muck that's in the perforations, nothing else really. Really nice and clean seat. It's very comfortable as well, I'll say that. It's a fully electric seat. And obviously the backrest will go forwards and backwards as well. And if you watch this part, you can use this button here and you can pump that up. So you get a decent level of comfort when you're sitting as well. Um, it's got the Navara rubber overmats all around, all the carpets are in good condition as well. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Uh, passenger seat, again, bolsters are really nice and firm, material's really nice and clean. Throughout. Dashboard is in nice, clean condition, there's no damage. It hides its mileage really well, to be honest with you. It's, it's in great condition throughout. Roof lining, again, is really nice and clean. It's free from any damage. Smells nice inside as well. Doesn't smell like it's ever been smoked in, which is obviously a bonus. Don't matter if you smoke, obviously, but for those of you that don't, it's always nice to know that something doesn't smell whiffy. Um, seats in the back are in good condition, but we'll have a look at those closer when we get there. All right, start it up. Um, it's got two proper keys. It's also got the canopy keys as well. To start it up, just a matter of putting your foot on the clutch, making sure it's in neutral. Pressing the stop-start button. Fires into action straight away, no problems at all. Um, on the dashboard, you can see... Well, I was going to say, there's no warning lights, but AdBlue needs filling up. Just turn that off. Other than, obviously, the AdBlue light, fuel lights just come on. Um, other than that, obviously, handbrakes level. I'm not wearing my seatbelt. And I should see... You go through, there's no other warnings apart from obviously it needs the add blue filling up. Um, steering wheel is nice and clean. There's no uh, faded patches, there's no stitching out of place. Everything looks spot on on it. Um, steering wheel controls, right hand side, this is cruise control. Your lower part is your phone. And then the left hand side is basically your media center volume, etc. Speakers sound good as well, no distortion, everything's spot on. Let's have a look at the reversing cameras. So you've got your 360 degree view to the left, and then obviously your reverse image to the right. What I quite like in regards to this, not specifically the 360, it's all right, but um, I wouldn't per personally use it, I'd go for the mirrors. But what you can do is when you press your camera button, um, you do get your left hand side view. So obviously if you're on your own, you're not going to damage your wheels, not going to knock your head over or something like that. So I found that quite helpful. But once you've come out of that, if you go into forwards, it gives you then, obviously, your forward gears. You can go against a wall or something and not damage your front bumper, which is quite cool. Radio, media centre. Um, you've got AM, FM, DAB with a pre-populated DAB list for where you are. Works as you'd expect. Um, once you've plugged your phone in down below using that USB you've got a multitude of different options including Facebook, Google and you can add lots of others on there as well um, you've got a decent sized map works as you'd expect nice and clean, dead easy to use decent sized screen as well um, being critical there's a couple of little marks on that door look there but nothing serious um, what else oh heated seats, let me put them on while I'm thinking about it You've got your armrest in the middle. Everything's nice and clean. There's no damage. You've got your 12 volt socket in there. There is another 12 volt socket up there as well. So there's plenty of charging points, whatever for your phones or whatever for your people that are in here for yourself as well. Um, six speed manual gearbox. Um, Nissan say 45 miles per gallon. I don't know if that's achievable. I don't. I don't run one myself, but I have heard very good things in regards to them. Obviously, it won't do that sort of mileage uh, miles per gallon with the uh, towing, but common sense um, these will tow three and a half tons it's also got the remaining amount of the manufacturer's warranty which when it was new um, is five years or a hundred thousand miles so you've got about five thousand miles and a few years obviously it's going to be about a year really isn't it? realistically um, if you want to top up your warranty after that give us a shout and we'll sort you something out it's not a problem um, heater seats work as well so that's good news um, electric folded mirrors they work too. Everything works as you'd expect. Tinted windows in the rear, obviously. Everything's spot on. If there's anything else to show you in here, really. If you think of anything, let me know. I'll show you, not a problem. Switch that off. Um, down this end, that's where your fuel cap is. Stop, start stability, parking sensors, trip reset, and your clock illuminations there as well. While I'm here, let's pop the bonnet. So we'll look in the back. 
<coughs> door cards in the back again nice and clean being critical there's a little mark on that one but it's nothing is it really in the whole scheme of things seats in the back are really nice and clean it's got the over mats all round as well one in the passenger seat as well all the seat backs are in nice clean condition there's no damage everything looks bob on underneath you got your jack all your tools same for that one as well and obviously you can pin them back as well if you wish it's not a problem so passenger side obviously that little bit on there just where someone's rubbed the leg or the knee on it or something and they are black and then they're painted silver so easy to replace door cards in good condition as you can see the seats are all in good condition throughout as are the carpets everything looks spot on and again same there's a couple of little scuff marks there look being really critical let's have a look under the bonnet Uh, right, so underneath the bonnet, you can see it's nice and clean. That is, I think, a genuine Nissan battery. Good news is if your battery goes flat and it's under the manufacturer's warranty, they will even replace the battery for you under your manufacturer's warranty. Turbo unit's nice and clean. I can't see any oil residue around it. I can't see any signs of any historic oil leaks. Obviously, great news being the fact that it's been serviced only by Nissan. You know it's been really well maintained. belts look like they're in very good condition and again hopefully you can see try and get this down there try to get the angle right there's no signs of any oily residue around the engine block and everything looks nice and clean and hopefully you'll <laughs> you'll see we've not washed it under here obviously it is what it is right so let's have a quick look underneath we're nearly there hopefully you're still with me so underside Again, no signs of any oily residue, no signs of any historic oil leaks. Chassis looks in great condition, as does the exhaust. Rear diff's nice and dry, no oily residue. It's got a spare with a continental tyre, and it's a steel wheel. Okay. So hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here in person. And I realise probably a little bit more I do go on. But I'd rather show you too much than not enough at the end of the day. Um, I think to summarise, it's in great condition considering the mileage. But obviously remembering the fact that it's got that full Nissan service history. And it's also got the manufacturer's warranty to back it up as well. So thanks for watching and sticking with me. I really appreciate it. But for the moment, thank you. Take care. Stay safe. Bye bye.